Uh, now, there's just one other story that I'd like your view on before we kind of move on to your vision of the, for the economy, which, of course, is why you're here. George Osborne, his wedding was uh, disrupted uh, yesterday uh, when a protester threw orange confetti uh, over him. We think it may be just a poll, although they haven't completely uh, claimed credit for it, if you like. What's your reaction to what happened? I've got no time for just stop oil. Uh, to be honest, I think it's a bit pathetic and quite tedious, uh, disrupting a tennis, a snooker, other people's weddings. You know, if they want to tackle climate change, uh, engage in the policy answers. Uh, but they're not building support for their cause. They're doing the exact opposite. So it's counterproductive uh, and, and it's rude, frankly. You know, people pay to go to Wimbledon. It may be their one time in their life that they get to Wimbledon. They don't want to be disrupted uh, by a load of uh, protesters. Um, and, 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 you know, look, I care passionately about tackling the climate emergency. It's why Labour set out our Green Prosperity Plan to reduce bills, to boost energy security, to get jobs in uh, Britain and to pass on to our children and grandchildren a better planet. But that is through practical policy, not through disrupting other people's lives. That's not the way to do it. According to the Sunday Times, Keir Starmer said uh, this week, I'm not interested in tree huggers. In fact, I hate them. <laughs> well, what's your stance on tree huggers? Uh, look, I love a tree. Uh, uh, <laughs> what I don't like is um, needless disruption to people's lives. And the idea that you're going to get closer to tackling the climate emergency by stopping working people, getting to their jobs, by uh, chaining yourselves to, uh, uh, to bridges, by uh, disrupting sporting events, think again frankly, you know, there's better ways to tackle the climate emergency. You're not helping, you're actually making things worse. OK, that's very clear. Um, right, let's talk about...